Watch you guys got another video on how to fix Windows 10 that's stuck in infinite boot loop. Now, as you can see here, when booting up your operating system, it will just continually spin on uh, the startup here and you'll get the Windows logo and you'll just get that little circle going round and round. And this is quite a common issue. Now, you may have already tried the diagnostics and startup uh, repair which is built into Windows and uh, and it hasn't worked. And I'm going to show you some steps to try to fix and eradicate this problem. Now it's quite a common problem and sometimes this can happen via uh, a, a rogue driver that you've installed or something you've installed on the system, could be malware. It also uh, could be after you've done an update of Windows 10 as well. And these are all pretty common uh, things, could be a, a corrupt uh, master boot record and it can also uh, be a corrupt uh, registry or system file so let me go ahead and uh, show you some of the steps to fix uh, and resolve uh, this problem that you may be getting when you're booting up your system so what you want to do is either boot to your windows cd or you can get into this troubleshooting area and hit troubleshoot and then advanced options once you're inside here you can then uh, select system restore. Now, if you've got system restore points, they will be available to you inside here. Now, if you haven't enabled a uh, system restore, then system restore will not be available to you and you will need to move on to the next repair method. So let me just uh, get this to get to system restore and we'll see if there's a system restore point. Now normally what would happen is you'll get a black screen like this and then the system restore will pop up just like so. So all you need to do here is log into that account and then put your password in if you have one. If you don't just push continue and then the system restore uh, will pop up. Now if you've got some system restore points here you can use these to roll back to. All you need to do is highlight which one you want to roll back to and then you can click on next and then select the drive and then click finish and it will revert your system back to that time when you created that system restore point. Now if you don't have a system restore point, don't matter, go back into the choose an option, back into troubleshoot and then you want to go into advanced options here. Inside here we want to go to command prompt and click on command prompt. Once we get into here we're going to try and fix uh, the master boot record here. So we're going to go boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. That will fix the master boot record. Now we can do fix boot by doing boot rec space forward slash fix boot. And uh, just type this one out and that should be good to go. Now if you get access denied, I've made a video on how to fix uh, the boot rec space forward slash fix boot access denied. Just check out my channel for that video. Now, once you've done that and you've got successfully uh, completed, do BCD edit space forward slash export space C colon backslash BCD backup. And that's what we want to do. So we're exporting that um, BCD to uh, make it a backup. And just in case something goes wrong, we can always revert back to that. So I'm just going to quickly back this up. And that's done successfully. And we put that into our C uh, root directory in a folder called bcd backup next up we want to do atrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s and this is just uh, permissions we're just going to give that some permissions here so what we're going to do next is type in ren which is short for rename and then we're going to go c colon backslash boot space cd bcd dot old and this is gonna make that called bcd dot old now we can do a uh, boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and this is going to rebuild our bcd so we're just going to do that command there and let that do its thing it will take a bit of time so just be patient and let it work away and hopefully once we've done this, we should be good to go. Now all we need to do here is type A for all, or you can do Y for yes, it's entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna do Y for yes here. 
and uh, we can type exit and come out of our uh, command prompt here. Now if that has worked we can reboot our system and see if that's uh, resolved that issue. Sometimes it does and if it does then you're good to go. If it doesn't go back into choose an option, go back into troubleshoot and uh, back into advanced options. Now you do have system image recovery, you do need to have an image recovery to do that and also you've got to go back to a previous version. So if you've updated Windows you can always roll back to a previous version and hopefully that resolves your issue and you've also got that system image recovery if you've got an image to recover to. If you don't you can always use the reset this PC and go back into the keep my files or remove everything. Now keep my files will pretty much uh, restore the system uh, back to a working state and uh, but you would lose all your programs and stuff like that. It will tell you what you keep and what you lose. Your data should be safe but with any sort of repair you're doing on your computer you should always back up your computer data before you work on your computer. So you can see here now we're just logging in to reset this PC and it will get things ready for you and it will tell you what you can keep and what it's going to wipe off the system and you can see here removes all apps and programs uh, that didn't come with the PC and basically changes all your settings back to defaults and reinstalls Windows without um, removing your personal files. Now I would always recommend you back up your data in any case. You've also got another option here which I wanted to show you uh, which is a bit more advanced uh, for you people that want to do uh, something else if the, you don't want to reset this PC you can try to uh, use the regback folder with all your registry backups so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to go about doing this so first off we need to change the directory to d colon and then type dir what you're looking for is the windows directory as soon as you see that you know you're in the right place so I'm going to type out our command here we're going to go cd space backslash and we want to do windows backslash system32 then backslash config. What this is going to do is change our directory to our config folder directory inside our Windows operating system and when we push enter you see we're in that uh, directory now. Now what we want to do is make a directory called backup so we're going to do md space backup and this will make a directory called backup and now we can copy all our files to that new backup directory which we made by typing copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup and this will copy all the files in that config folder to our backup directory which we've got there which we've just created and you'll see them copied up there as you can see all our default drivers uh, SAM security software system and all that sort of good stuff. Now we can type cd space regback and that's what we want to type and push enter and this is going to change our directory to our regback folder. Now we can type dir and you can see there is some files inside here which we can use to back up. Now if you see all these zeros here then that is wrong you can't use those files they have to have data in them and you'll see they should look something like this which is what you want to see now if you're seeing the zeros then you need to back out and exit out because it's not going to work but if you see data there and uh, data on those files then you can use them and this is how you can uh, use them if you've got the data there you just type copy space uh, asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and this is going to copy the files and it's going to put them in there so what we're going to do is say a for all so just put in a for all and it will overwrite all those files now hopefully once you've done all these your system will be up and running you can now exit out of this and reboot your system and hopefully uh, when you boot up your system it will boot and you won't get that uh, reboot loop where it just sticks on this screen. Now if you're still having issues after you've done this then you may want to uh, try a fresh install of Windows operating system and if you're still having issues after you've done a fresh install then you may have an hardware issue where your hard drive may be failing or you may have some other issue with your 
a computer and you may need to take it to a repair shop to have it diagnosed and tested to find out what's wrong with it. Now again, a good fresh install will always determine uh, whether there is a problem with hardware because if you're still having problems after you've done a fresh install then it's more than likely going to be a hardware issue because there should be nothing on the system i.e. no malware, no problems with drivers or anything like that. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great Christmas, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.